There is no science. No progress. Without sacrifice. I'm Rudy. 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 Nice to meet you, Pelagio hey. Media. The scene where you first see Damien for the first time. It's a heavy one. That is a, it looks draining. How did you prepare for, for that scene? You know what, I mean that, we had, that was one of the audition scenes too. Oh, wow. And that was a lot to prepare for. And I remember, you know, I have different avenues I take. Right. It depends the feeling or the mood of the scene. But um, to get me kind of started, I either have, you know, a song I listen to or videos I look at or voicemails that I have <laughs> or letters, you know. I, I have like a little hidden folder right. of things that make me cry. <laughs> uh, and I kind of tap into it. And once I start, it's just a wrap. You know, um, but it was difficult to kind of get into, and it was actually one that I questioned the most, because I felt question was, in a sense was I angry because mm. he he was dead oh, yeah, and he yeah. left and I never found him again and now all of a sudden he's back. Right? Am I happy to see him? Am I scared? Is, is it dis so? There's so many. Well, you see all that in that scene. That's it's why brilliant. I think yeah, you know job. Tarsem was like, I want it all. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, because my first instinct was like to kind of run to him and grab him, mm. but then. Tarzan was like, but what the hell is going on? It's kind of weird, and we want that sense of it, something's wrong. Uh, so it was just very interesting, and that, yeah. that scene definitely took a lot of preparation for us. So was it that scene that made you want to be involved in Selfless? Or? I think that and the fact of the whole script, I thought it was a really interesting story and an interesting concept. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's, it's, it rises a lot of questions in a lot of people, and I think it's really interesting to be a part of a film that makes you think. Right. Are there, is there any advice that you would give to a college student who wants to someday, who's studying, and wants to somebody be where you are at, mm -hmm. be where you're at, in this amount of success that you're Thank experiencing? You. Um, what, would you, what would you tell the student? It's a it's a hustle. It's mm. a hustle, and you know, I, I you have to have thick skin, mm. and you have to be ready to just go to the trenches. You know what I'm saying? You have yeah. to really fight for it because it, the hustle never stops. And don't be discouraged because, you know, just because one door closes doesn't mean another one's open. And just keep fighting and fighting for what you And what do you in. do when you're down? What do you do? To go, go find the next job. Okay. There's no time to be down. <laughs> There's no time to be down. Bravo. There's been times where, yeah, it hurts. You know, you, mi you miss out on certain things. But try to find that in another thing or, or fight for it or create it. We live in a beautiful world right now where if there's not something out there for you, then you create something for you. Amen. There is no science, no progress without sacrifice. I never wanted others to suffer. I gave you what you wanted. You took a man's life. No, I did. I did. I did. I did. Soon I'll be gone. I can already feel myself fading. Without me, your mind will relapse. And we both know who takes over. I'm the only one standing between you and oblivion.